I have a new part for you guys, something that shouldn't be too hard to install, which is going to be the, I'll show you once I open it. So I ordered the Blitz strut bar for my Honda Civic Type R. I actually ordered it off RHD Japan, which is a website I've been using lately. Everything's in yen because it comes straight from Japan, but the prices are a little bit cheaper. As far as the actual performance gains of this part, I'll look more into it, but I don't think there's a lot. I think it's kind of more for looks, but strut bars are usually just for the stiffness of the, of the spring tower. So the way it's gonna go is it's gonna connect over here and it's gonna connect over there. And there's gonna be a straight bar running across. So I'm gonna go ahead and start unboxing the box for you guys and showing you guys the internals. So this is the box that we got the strut bar in. So we're gonna go ahead and open that up. So we have the box open, guys. The We have some nuts that are gonna go on top of the strut tower. I gotta figure out where this is goes to real quick. We got some Japanese instructions. So I'll obviously be able to read that. And if I'm not wrong, we have some stickers for more horsepower. I'm gonna go ahead and start opening this box so we can see the content of here. And this is the actual bar that we have for the car. These are the bracket pieces, guys, that are gonna go where our strut bar is. So, this is gonna look really nice, guys, on the car. It's not gonna add any horsepower gains, but it's definitely a really nice touch. So this is how the strut bar looks, guys. Still has some plastic over it. I'm gonna keep it on until I bolt it on, but this looks really nice, guys. So I can't wait till we actually mount it onto the car. So these strut bolts right here, guys, we're gonna remove all three of these and they're 14 millimeters. Start taking these off. So once we got our three nuts off, what we're gonna do. So first of all, guys, make sure not to lose these. I'm gonna put them right here. Next thing we're gonna do, guys, is we're gonna go ahead and mount this up to how it's supposed to go. So after looking at the instructions, guys, if you can see here, I wasn't 100% sure where this loom went. But as you can see, it's number eight. And number eight, I don't know Japanese, but I matched the writing here with the writing right here. And it shows that this loom is actually gonna wrap under this wire right here when we put the strut bar on. So what we're gonna go ahead and do guys is we're gonna tighten down these three mounting bolts. Once those three are tying down, what we're gonna then do is go ahead and mount the other, the, the driver's side up. These are the originals. There's aftermarket ones that come with the new kit that we're gonna be using instead of these originals. So you can go ahead and store these away. So after removing those three, we're gonna grab the bracket and install the new nuts that came with the new kit. Just like that, we got both sides in. So now, let me go ahead and align it up there and I'll go ahead and tie the bolts up just to show you guys. So we kind of put it in place. I'm gonna lift this up, put this nut through and show you guys after I align that up. So this uh, screw right here, it's an Allen screw. I'm gonna go ahead and start threading on the night. That one should be a I'm 
I'm gonna take off my my reservoir cap. So it's a pretty simple, straightforward install, guys. Just make sure you have the Allen. I'll get you guys the Allen size right now, the 14 millimeter wrench, and then your 14 mils to tie down your new nuts that came with your new kit for your strut towers. That way you make sure they fit good. So this is already installed. It looks good, guys. I love how that looks on the engine bay. So I did this more for cosmetics, and as you can see, the strut bar looks really nice. What's up guys, it's a cool 45 degrees here in Texas. It's been a couple of months since I put on the Swift strut bar. Um, I wanna give you an update of how I'm doing with it. You can't really feel a performance difference on, on the strut bar, but at least it looks really cool. So mind the mess, my car is really dirty, but as you can see there guys, we have the Swift strut bar installed. This is how it looks like guys. As far as the install goes, very, very easy. Probably a, a one out of 10 on difficulty. What I recommend first is putting in the braces for the strut tower, both sides, and then put in the actual bar. As far as all the cuts and everything I have in my hand, I, I think I got at least like 10 cuts on my hand yesterday from when I installed the Acuity short shifter. I'm really excited for that video where we installed the hybrid racing into my friend Cooper's Type R and we installed the Acuity short shifter onto my Type R. We're gonna compare them, we compared the installs and then we're gonna do a review on them once we break them in. There is lots of content coming to the channel guys, so stay tuned. I ordered the 27.1 exhaust, which I'm super excited for. Shout out to Vincent from 27.1 for hooking it up and helping me out with all the questions I had about it. That should be arriving and installed very, very soon. So stay tuned for that and it should be very exciting. Make sure you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I will see y'all soon. Uh -huh.